Good night, folks. I'm Big Red. This is food is the best shit ever. As you can see, uh, as you can see, good at the speaker. Um, as you can see, it's a bloody lovely day for it. Um, today, today we're going to we're going to make some jalapeno poppers. You know, scrape a bit of jalapeno. Uh, we're going to stuff a bit of cheese in there, and then we're going to cook those on the barbecue. But then we're going to take them off, um, and we're going to wrap them with um, with a little a little mince, a little beef mince, <coughs> and then maybe we'll put a little bit more cheese in there as well, just to keep it moist and delicious. We'll season them up. We'll put them back on the barbecue. We'll cook them until they're delicious looking. And then we'll glaze them with a nice sweet um, sweet barbecue sauce. It's pretty simple. Um, I do call these jalapeno turds because um, they do look quite turd-like. I'm sure, I'm sure we could have come up with a sexier name for them, but fuck it. Jalapeno turds it is. So let's crack on. It's beautiful. Um, what was I going to say? These are perfect. These are perfect for um, if you want a little snack while you have a beer. I don't know if you're watching a game of sport. I fucking really don't understand a lot of sports, so um, I don't watch it heaps, but I still enjoy drinking a beer and having a little snacky. So this is the sort of shit that I'll get into. Um, they can they can go on an anti-pasty platter pretty happily. The other day we made some and we wrapped it up in a waffle and then ate it. Also, if you want to make heaps, make heaps. You can make them for a crowd. You can make them for the neighbours. You can make them for their neighbours. Tell them to call someone they know and invite them over. You will be the champion of the neighbourhood. Unless your neighbours are vegetarian and or vegan. They will not enjoy this so much. So now we're going to get our little cream cheese filling for the poppers going. Two parts cream cheese, one part shredded jack or tasty. Um, we bust into our jalapenos, clean them out. Maybe a glove's good for this, so you don't get a little burny burny. But, you know, make sure you, you take the glove off before you go to the toilet or you'll still get burny and you'll look like a bloody creep. So now, um, just into the jalapenos with the cream cheese mix. Pretty simple. And then that goes into our barbecue, 250 degrees, 45 minutes to an hour, um, until they're soft and a little bit smoky and good. And then we'll cool them and come back to the rest of the, you know, the rest of the thing. Cool, nice. What we've done here is we've pressed out our little balls of beef mince to make like a little baby burger patty looking thing. And I've just given it a little, um, a little strip of mozzarella cheese, grated mozzarella in the middle. That could just be a whole chunk of mozzarella. It could be provolone. It could be whatever the fuck cheese you want to put in it really, because it's just going to make it cheesier and better. Um, and then we're going to take our already cooked jalapeno poppers. Um, well, this is jalapeno. This was our little um, cream cheese mix. And we smoked them for about an hour at 250F or 125C. Um, just until the jalapenos were soft. Um, and then I've let them cool in the fridge and now they're all firm and uh, ready to be wrapped. So we'll put them uh, cheese side down and then I'll just put a little bit of weight. There's a bit of paper so it doesn't freely sail around like a crazy thing. Uh, and then we're gonna we're gonna join it up like it's uh, a little a little pasty, maybe, or a dumpling. Turn it over so that seals on the bottom. 
And we're gonna have our sexy little turd looking jalapeno popper. There you go, it's pretty easy. Roll it back over. Hey, give it a little roll. Really, really get it nice and turdy looking. So we'll take them from this uh, and we'll put them in the barbecue. Indirect, once again, 250 and maybe they'll take, oh, sorry, we will season these up. Hold up, hold up, Tiger. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll season them up with a bit of bull dust, some kind of beefy rub is good. Salt and pepper is also fine if that's what you have. You'll work it out. Uh, and then we're gonna make a little glaze. A sweet barbecue sauce is the go for this one. Uh, I'm just gonna water this down ever so slightly and warm it up. And that'll be the glaze we put on at the end. So, that, that, these, fire. Get some heat beads going in the old Weber. Make a hotty hotty. Already we've got our sweet barbecue sauce. Watered down just ever so slightly. We'll warm that up. The turds are ready. They're seasoned. They've been sitting for five or 10 minutes, ready to go. The barbecue is ready. So we'll just take them to there and get them ripping. So those little bad boys are almost done. So that's been 30 minutes. Obviously with these, you don't have to just make a few for yourself to eat at home or wherever you like to eat things. Look at those little turds, they're actually starting to look quite turdy now. All right, we have our turds and they're on a plate now. They're looking very turd-like. That's hot, don't grab the bowl. But um, I am just gonna, a bit more saucy action. Drizzle, drizzle. <coughs> a lot more saucy action. Just sauce, saucy. Eat them. Get beer. Um, get popper. Oh, popper. Turdy popper. I'm not gonna put this in my mouth straight away, but. Good little cheesy, smoky, saucy. Oh, and I'm eating it. So good. Also, really good at this stage if you can um, crunch up a handful of corn chips or potato chips over the top and it sticks to the glaze and it's really delicious. I had a pack in the cupboard, but in a true story, Jenny stole them today and took them away to a place where I am not. But that's okay. Um, jalapeno turds. Get on it. <laughs>